probably do with no fab and you keep failing and failing and failing all the time and you're wondering why i keep failing why do i fail on no fab what is the reason so in this video i'm going to tell you the reason why no fab is a big scam and you should not try to do it at all at least not following the no fab advice that you find on reddit because i have tried that and i kept failing and failing in fact it's true 99 percent of people that do no fab they end up failing and in this video i'm going to tell you exactly why you keep failing and how you can actually quit fapping and succeed on it in an easy way because if you do things correctly when it comes to fapping and watching corn you will be able to quit this addiction easily and in this video i'm going to share with you ways techniques and mindset shifts that you need to apply in your life in order to succeed in this and in this video and in this channel i'm going to keep sharing with you all the things that i learned in my life that allowed me to quit this addiction forever once for good so if you want to quit this addiction subscribe to our channel because you're gonna quit this addiction in, in the easiest way possible so we all know that nofap uh, what uh, what techniques they teach you in order to quit this addiction is to count your days. Counting your days is the worst thing you can do because it's gonna keep the stress on your brain. So I used to count the days, but I get so stressed because uh, if I relapse, I'm, I'm gonna lose all the days that I counted. And this is, so basically what you do when you count days is you're putting stress in your brain. And the second thing is, uh, Whenever you get urges, so you get urge, you get a lot of urges. So what I learned when I when I was able to quit pee, uh, thanks to this tech, to this method and these techniques that I personally still using right now, is what I learned. If you get in urges on nofap, it means you're not doing nofap correctly. Later, I'm gonna explain to you why. And every time you get urges while while doing nofap, it means you're not doing it successfully. Video. I am going to share with you three ways on how to start doing nofap correctly and not fail. The reason why uh, you keep doing nofap and keep failing is because you have a terrible, terrible lifestyle. So one of the reasons why I was doing nofap before and I was failing is because I have a lot of empty time, empty uh, time in my life, and I don't fill my time with activities and purpose. So if you have a bad lifestyle, you have nothing to do, you feel bored all day, you're more tempted to do to, to fab, okay? So this is the number one reason, in my experience, and the experience of so many people that were able to quit this addiction, is you need to fill your time. For example, I, I watch a lot of videos on how to fix your lifestyle and how to do, and they, they really don't give you the right things. They don't give you like... A, the correct methods to actually fix your lifestyle. So what I found useful to fix your lifestyle is make a list and put things that you need to do first. First, you, you need to do things that you, you're postponing. For example, you need to go shop, you need to go buy that thing that you need to fix something in your house or something. Make a list of all the things they need to fix. Uh, make up your room if it's, uh, if it's uh, messy. Do everything you can to fix your lifestyle, your life around you. If, you're, if your room is messy, if your desk, desk is messy, you need to fix that. And later, try to do things that you have never done. For example, maybe you're living in, your, in, your, in, in a small town or in a city, big city. You want to go explore things. Just make a schedule every day, activities to do, and activities uh, that you've never done, and you try, try new things. Keep doing this stuff, and you're gonna fill up your life with things to do. And if you keep doing this, you will you realize that your brain is so busy with doing these activities and planning them and be and getting excited to do them you realize that your brain is going to start freeing up from uh from fapping the second reason why you keep failing at uh, no fap is your brain and your subconscious believe that fapping is the ultimate solution to stress so what you do when, when you're doing no fab? You keep stressing and stressing about you shouldn't fab and you're counting your days and uh, afraid of getting urges. 
this obsession about no fab it's it's giving you a lot of stress in your brain and this stress how you you want to fix it how you fix it is by fapping again because you believe fapping will actually uh, cure your stress or actually help you relieve the stress which is not not the case because what you're doing when you when you fap is you put more stress in your brain because uh, when you're fapping you're not relieving stress you just temporarily think you're relieving it but you're not relieving it at all you're just uh, increasing the stress in your brain because when you, whenever you're fapping you're throwing away a lot of minerals a lot of vitamins a lot of a lot of stuff that your body needs you're throwing it away and eventually you get stressed and, uh, and in order to get off you need to fap in order to relieve the stress but that's just your brain believing that actually you're just adding more stress to your brain in the long run which is which is so bad for your brain so bad for your body so bad for your energy so bad for your spirit so what you want to do instead is you want to put it in your brain you need to program your subconscious you need to write down reasons in your in your in, in a paper why uh, fapping is actually bad actually i have read i have read uh, one book called the freedom model and another book called uh, the easy peasy method and these two books which i recommend recommend you to read i'm going to put the put the links of of these books on the on the description you can go check them out these books if you switch your brain if you switch your mindset to to uh, just read about the negatives of p negative negatives of watching p if you keep uh, if you keep telling your brain how bad this is for your brain and in the same time you, ch you change your 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 lifestyle your brain can automa automatically realize that p is bad but if you have an empty lifestyle your life is bored and stuff your brain gonna detect that p is the is is a good thing is a good thing okay so it's all in your brain if you read these two books you realize what i'm talking about and highly recommend you to read these two books the third way to quit this addiction for good is to have a purpose you need to have a purpose if you wake up in the morning and you and you don't have nothing to do in your life your life is boring you have no purpose so a man a man if a man doesn't have a purpose in his life he gonna be depressed because we men we are born to be on purpose we need to be building we need to be creating we need to be on a mission so what what can you do to be on purpose what you can do is, is to start a small business online start a youtube channel like this maybe be on a purpose for example my purpose now is to help men quit this addiction because i suffered from, from this addiction for over 20 years and i know how bad it is for men and how depressive it is how sad it makes you feel how inferior it makes you feel so i want to teach you how to quit this addiction and i have, I have also other missions that i do in my daily life like uh, working out uh, doing boxing uh, going to the gym uh, playing football with my friends all of these things gonna fill up your time and put you on a purpose and make you happy and these things gonna make it easy for you to quit this addiction because when you when you rewire your brain to enjoy your purpose uh, enjoy the chasing activities chasing uh, normal dopamines your brain eventually if you make it believe that porn is, is not good if you make it make your subconscious believe that this addiction is bad while you're replacing it with the good activities you're gonna quit this addiction for good and this is the method that i personally used and it's so easy to quit this addiction if you do this thing correctly Hope this video was useful to you if you want more content like this if you want to quit this addiction for good like i did i invite you to subscribe to our channel this is the, our first video i'm going to be uploading more videos and also i enc encourage you to join our school community where we have a community full of men interacting with each other learning from each other where i also put up group calls where i teach you exactly how to quit this addiction in the easiest way possible without suffering i did it for myself and i can teach you how to do it so join us subscribe and uh, pay attention to our next videos because uh, we're gonna help you quit this addiction for good easiest way possible thank you for watching and see you